Welcome to the third Ape tutorial video. This video will go over a few more features of the sequence window as well as how to find and highlight restriction enzyme sites within a sequence. At the end of the last video we did highlighting of found sequences. You can also shift click or right click in the toolbar or from the edit menu clear the, those highlights. You can also select a region and make that region lowercase. You can make that region uppercase or you can exchange the case of a region by shift clicking on the toolbar on either of these buttons. You can reverse complement a sequence and at any time you can undo any of the functions that you've done. So you can undo that reverse complement. It also um, keeps track of the things that you've done and you can do it has um, a long chain of undo that you're able to um, undo or redo at any time. To select a restriction enzyme, go to the enzyme selection dialog. At the top of the dialog shows a, um, a drop down menu button of any open files that you currently have open. In this case, we only have a single file open, and so it will only show one possible file. You can choose to uh, analyze all of the um, sequence. You can choose to analyze only the selected sequence, or you can choose to analyze only the region outside the current selection. And that will um, change the number of restriction sites for each one of these enzymes. You can see, for example, that there are two ECOR1 restriction sites within the entire sequence. But if we change to the selection and then change our selection, we can we will change the number of restriction sites that are present within the selection. And so now there's one ECOR1 restriction site within our selection and one outside of our selection. There are two overall. There is a um, enzyme selector tool calculator within this row. You can select all of the enzymes that are um, unique within the selection window as it's presently configured. So these are all of the enzymes that cut a single time. You can select all of the ones that are presently absent, so all of the zeros. You can select any number that are, is less than, equal to, or greater than any number that you select. So for example, if you wanted to find all of the enzymes that were not unique, that's greater than one, you can select those. You can also um, deselect so you can find any of the ones that are equal to three and deselect just the ones that are equal to three or the ones that are greater than five and find all of the ones that have two, four, or five um, sites within, in this case, the entire selection of this particular window. You can do AND, which will intersect the currently selected en enzymes that are displayed in red with the um, new calculated value which you set here. So you can filter not only by the number of sites, but also the um, 
type of site, for example, five prime overhang, four base cutter, degenerate cut, or you can generate your own uh, so selection groups, in this case, enzymes that we have in our lab, but you can also make new groups by selecting any of the groups within this and then do um, new group and make as many different um, group selections as you would like. Once you've selected a particular um, set of enzymes, you can then perform an action with the enzymes that are highlighted in red. For example, you can highlight those enzymes on the sequence map, the sequence window. You can see those are all highlighted in red. And now when I place my mouse cursor over any of those sequences, within this area you see a description of the restriction enzymes that are highlighted there. You can also see the features that are under the mouse as well as the restriction sites. If you press the space bar, you can get what's called the X-ray window, and that will show a small map of the line that's currently under the mouse, both the features as well as the restriction enzyme sites. The restriction enzyme sites show the top strand and the bottom strand cut with small tick marks. That's it for the third video of the eight tutorial video series.